Hey, Damon, how you doing? I've got your most recent iteration of the poster. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I, you know, I still have a lot of the same comments from um, so, uh, my recent feedback, and that is mostly regarding execution of the of the Earth itself, as well as a background. So let's let me just go through a couple of my recommendations here. So I think the Earth is is really underdeveloped. Um, there's a lot of areas that are super inconsistent. Like if you look at Baja, California, right there, it, it's right there on the Mexican border. It's, like, it's just a, a, a point. So there's no detail there. Also, we see <clears throat> we could definitely use a lot more detail in the depiction of some of the continents. Um, over here, we've got this kind of really odd, like white outline in Central America. And then this line kind of going out. I'm not even really sure exactly what that is or how that got there unless... Um, you used an original um, portion of, uh, you know, you used an original image or something for a template layer, and part of it's still showing through. I'm not real sure what your process was, but that's pretty inconsistent right there. I also think the presentation of the continents are inconsistent. So as you can see, this is pretty sharp up here, but down here, it's really super blurry. Now, my recommendation in, in regards to uh, illustrating Earth is to go over to that course announcement. I mean, uh, the presentation one from back from week two, presentation one, the power of shapes. I mean, there's a tutorial here and everything. I mean, you've got a lot. Look at that Earth right there. Isn't that gorgeous? I definitely think you, you should pull yours into something that's a little bit more um, closer to this kind of detail. Um, as opposed to this kind of just basic shapes. So that would be my first recommendation is to, to improve the um, illustration of, of the planet Earth. Next is the background. I think the background is, is really pulling a lot. Well, you're, you're missing a great opportunity here to add an enormous amount of visual engagement. I do not recommend a solid color background. I would illustrate a space scene. You could put planets. You could put red planets, white planets. You could put stars. You could even put a little rocket ship. And you can even show you how to make these kind of rays, these radiating um, light rays from the sun as they fall on the earth. So, I mean, it's all right here. And guess what? These are tutorials. That's a tutorial right there. So the step-by-step -step shows you exactly how to do that. And I don't mind one bit if you use those techniques in your poster, but I would definitely recommend uh, adjusting the earth and refining the detail of earth and then also creating a more compelling and engaging background. Typography, don't forget, you can use a, a decorative or a display face right here. Um, I would keep this as, as one of the uh, default typefaces required in, in the, the type requirements for the class. But it, it, see if you can find a typeface that kind of indicates melting. You know what I'm saying? Um, so try, try to work something with that, um, something a little bit more visually engaging. Okay, so those are my recommendations. I, I would definitely, definitely start pulling this towards a little bit more further engagement. Because I think right now we're just, we're kind of borderline. I mean, I think you're just borderline really getting into an area where it's going to be a really unique and beautiful poster. But I think we definitely need those elements um, with the earth and specifically the background. Also, I want to point one thing out to you. Your type on a curve here is a little bit uneven. As we can see right here, the baseline of this type on a curve right here is closer to the Earth than this. That's indicating that that's askew. Another thing is that this isn't even on the actual uh, type on a path. So I'm going to take this and let's just take, well, actually... See what I mean? So I'm going to take this straight edge right here. I'm going to place it at the very bottom of the H right there. And we can see that the G is not lining up. So we want to adjust that type area as well. Okay. Well, those are my recommendations for your final submission. If you have any questions at all, or if I can provide any clarification, of course, I'll be glad to. All right, Damon. So just let me know. All right. Great start. Thank you very much for sharing.